It's a beautiful morning and we finally had a break in the incessant rain we've been getting, but we are supposed to be getting rain next week. And so I'm gonna be planting my potatoes today. Rain or shine, they're going in today, but thankfully it is shine. Hey Ranger. What you doing bud? Oh. Welcome back to Sanctuary Garden. I'm Jolene, and if this is your first time, then welcome. And if it's not your first time, welcome back. My son is gonna be coming in and out here because it's not his nap time yet. And I try to usually do videos at his nap time, but um, <laughs> it's not working out today, we'll see. Can you throw the dirt in here, please? Today we're gonna to be talking about planting seed potatoes. I have done a video in the past on planting potatoes in a container. And so if you haven't seen that, then definitely check that out. I'll, I'll link it right up here. But today I'm just gonna talk about how to plant potatoes in a raised garden bed. Buddy, Liam, I know you wanna to touch it, but I'm not gonna let you touch it. So it's currently the beginning part of April and I'm actually a little late to the potato planting game. I should have probably started these in March, planting them in the garden. Um, potatoes love that cool season right in early spring. So I have three types of potatoes here. I have one called the dark red Norland and it's gonna be a red potato, red skin potato. Uh, I have Adirondack Blue, which is a blue potato all the way through. It's actually more of a purple color, but they call it blue. Um, so it has a blue skin and blue in the interior. And then I have Corolla, which is a um, very similar to a Yukon Gold, and it has a very smooth flavor. I got these from Territorial Seed Company, and I bought potatoes. I haven't bought potatoes from them yet, but I've been really pleased with the things I've gotten from them in the past. I do recommend seed potatoes versus potatoes from the grocery store that sprout. And the reason is because these are certified seed potatoes that are certified disease free. When you have potatoes that sprout in a, from the store, you take that risk that they may carry diseases. Um, and oftentimes potatoes from the store are treated to not sprout. Um, so they have longer storage life. So you, I highly recommend instead to buy certified seed potatoes to start with. To prepare your potatoes for planting, one of the things that is a step that is not necessary but does speed up the process of uh, your potato harvest getting it sooner is something called chitting. Chitting is the process of basically pre-sprouting your potatoes to kind of jumpstart them into the growing season. And it's a super simple thing to do. Basically, when you get your seed potatoes, you're going to put them in a sunny, warm location. I wouldn't recommend like outdoor sunny, but somewhere like a, in a window and um, leave them there until you start seeing these beautiful green sprouts. You don't want super long sprouts. If you leave them in a dark location, they will have sprouts um, that will be pretty long and it's easy to break. You want these beautiful kind of like rosettes on your potatoes. You don't want your potatoes to be stacked on top of another. You wanna have a flat laid out area. I put some in a box in one layer and then I put some in an egg carton. Um, both are fine. Um, or you could just lay them out on the table. That's fine too. A lot of people do the egg carton because it does keep them in an upright position, as you can see here. So potatoes usually sprout on one end primarily. As you can see, this is probably a little better example. Here, we have two uh, sprouts here, two eyes that are sprouting, but none down here. Um, this is called the rosette, I believe, or the rose end. Um, and so that's the end that you're going to be placing in the you're gonna be placing it up. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now comes kind of a somewhat controversial topic on should you cut your potatoes or not? And here is what I have learned from the research and from my own personal experience. In general, the larger the potato seed, the bigger harvest of potatoes, but they tend to be smaller. If you have a smaller seed potato, it tends to produce less potatoes, but larger potatoes. Oh, thank you. That's just what I wanted. So looking at the potatoes I have here, to be honest, I am not gonna cut very many of these because I feel like they're a really good size. From what I read, it seems like about an ounce and a half to two ounces is a perfect seed potato size. 
And so if you have a potato that is larger than that, then you may want to cut it in half or thirds, depending on how large it is. If it's smaller than an ounce and a half, such as this one, for instance, then do not cut it at all. So this is a controversial subject because some people don't cut their potato seed potatoes at all and others do cut them. Um, I have done both. And to be honest, I felt like my harvests were fairly the same. Now, typically when people do cut potatoes, they leave them out for, I think it's like two to three days to allow that wound where you cut it to scab over and kind of do a healing process. Um, that prevents bacteria from getting into the potato, from it rotting and such. Um, so if that's what you wanna do, that's fine. If you're lazy like me and you didn't know what day you were going to plant them so you didn't cut them or anything there are other methods and ways to get around that so i'm going to cut this potato in half and the reason i'm cutting this one is it's a little bit larger but also it has eyes that are sprouting on both ends of the potato this one here you would think i would cut because it's so large but there are no eyes on this side of the potato. So this one I'm gonna actually plant whole. When it comes to cutting, I'm just gonna cut right down the center. I'm gonna avoid cutting any eyes. And I'm just gonna cut it in half like this. Now, like I said, most people would leave this to allow that scabbing to take place, but I don't have time because I'm planting them today. So another option that I have read, and this is something that my dad did a lot of, and I did it a couple years back, is to take wood ash from the fireplace, which I know what we've burned, so I know it's safe. I'm gonna just dip my potato in the ash. And so it's completely coated. Let's talk about bed preparation. Be sure to add a generous amount of compost um, to help just amend that soil, especially if you planted in it before. Potatoes tend to be heavy feeders. And then I also added a all-purpose general fertilizer, um, per particularly one that has a slightly higher number, the middle number, which is phosphorus. Yes, phosphorus, I think about it for a minute. NPK, phosphorus. Um, and because the phosphorus helps with the growth of the potato tubers. Now there are a couple different methods to planting potatoes. Um, the, the, very, the most common one is, is the hilling method where uh, you dig a trench, you plant your potatoes in it, and then you cover them with about two inches of soil. And then as they emerge and they start growing, you continue to add more soil until you create this little hill around the potato. And that's uh, part of the reason for doing that is to prevent um, potatoes from kind of popping out out of the soil and turning green. Because potatoes, when they're in direct sunlight, will turn green and then um, they're actually Technically, I think people say they're poisonous. I don't know if it would necessarily kill you, but if you ate a lot of it, it would make you really sick. So the healing meth is very common for doing that. I don't do that because like I said, I'm a lazy potato person. And once potatoes are in here, they are so easy to, to take care of. Um, so I just dig a dip, deep trench about six inches deep and plant my potatoes in it. Let me show you how I do it. You want this trench to be about six inches deep I'm just eyeballing it. All right, now it's time to plant our potatoes. I'm gonna start with my Corolla ones. I'm gonna lay a potato deep in the trench and I'm gonna do it with the eye that is sprouting facing up. This eye here is what is going to produce both the root and the stalk that is going to produce leaves. Uh, the root's gonna come down and go down and then the stalk's gonna come up. So you're gonna face it, have it face up like this. And we're gonna space them about a foot apart. I'm just eyeballing it, like I said. Now that they're in there, we're just going to completely cover them up. And I am not leaving, I am not covering them with two inches of soil to add more. I am just completely covering them up. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do that. And row about a foot away from there, we're gonna do the exact same thing. planted your potatoes is to mulch it really well and I prefer straw potatoes really do well with uh, straw mulch and uh, my son is already you know showing you how it's done free labor this is why we have kids right so I'm just gonna put this on there a nice thick layer now if the potatoes do start peeking through and I see some that could turn green 
I have the option of adding soil on top of that potato or adding a really thick layer of mulch. And I've done both and both seem to work well. Okay, so the bed's all planted. We mulched it with straw and we're done. Um, if I knew that it was gonna be really dry for a long time, then I would water these really well. But we are literally getting rain tonight and it's gonna be raining solid for like a week. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, and potatoes do well with cold temperatures as well. So anywhere in the 30 degrees, like we're gonna be getting the next week, at night at least, they'll do just fine. Have you ever done this method before? If you have, uh, comment down below, let me know how it worked for you, or give me any other tips that have worked for you with potatoes. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like, and then hit that subscribe button as well, so you don't miss any of our future videos. Take the little guy off. So I hope you all are having a great spring. We'll see you next time. Go out and grow something. God bless. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. You can tell he's been eating dirt.